Torah, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Truth Report for this week. The Torah portion this week, the parasha, is taken from Leviticus chapter 6, verse 8, through chapter 8, verse 56, uh, verse 36, I'm sorry. It's entitled Tetzav, meaning the command. And uh, this portion continues to deal with the various offerings that, uh, that God required sin offering, the fellowship offering, the guilt offering. And then uh, in chapter 8, there's a very detailed explanation uh, regarding the ordination of Aaron and his sons, the Aaronic priesthood. Very detailed, very intricate, uh, and it's directly from God. The minutia uh, to which they had to fulfill, they had to complete uh, in, in their dress and their offerings to offer the uh, sacrifices of God, the great high priest, the Aaronic priesthood. And it once again uh, speaks of the fact that there is no human being, obviously, that can ever do this completely. It's never totally satisfactory to God. And we know that because when we come to the New Testament, we have Jesus spoken of to us as our great high priest, our great high priest. In Hebrews chapter 7, verse 23, it says, Now we have many of those priests, and since death prevented them from continuing in office, but because Jesus lives forever, he is a permanent priesthood, a permanent priesthood never ending. Therefore he is able to save completely those who come to God through him because he ever lives to intercede for them. He ever lives. He lives forever to intercede for us. He goes on, such a high priest meets our need, one who is holy and blameless, pure, set apart from sinners, exalted above the heavens. Unlike the other high priests, he does not need to offer sacrifices day after day, after day, after day, after day, after day. No. First for his own sins and then for the sins of the people. He sacrificed for their sins once for all. Once for all when he offered himself. And therefore, the ministry of Jesus has, uh, has received is superior to those uh, high priests that were given to us in the Old Testament. The ministry of Jesus has received is as superior to theirs as the new covenant is superior and a mediator uh, superior to the old covenant. And it's founded on better promises. We have a great high priest, dear ones, who ever lives to make intercession for us. Uh, for us. 365, 24-7, he ever lives to make intercession for us. He is praying. Jesus, our great high priest, is presently praying for us. Hallelujah. And that's the truth. <laughs>